Hello everyone, and I'm coming to you guys with very bad news. Again, it's even worse than yesterday, and quite frankly, is the game completely over? And I am actually, as the title reads, I'm down 7 million. Like in my entire trading portfolio, I'm done, down more than 30% in the last literally two weeks. So I'm down 7 million dollars. For me, it is honestly, drawdown wise in the short term period is one of the worst I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, thankfully, I'm not one of those people getting liquidated. People are losing right now. People are losing everything. They're losing their houses, everything. I'm down like 30%, which is horrible for me because again, my portfolio is a bit bigger but it's, and it, it translates to 7 million down. So let's take a look. So the reason why this is happening, honestly, guys, is for one reason, and that is Japan, because Japanese stocks and the whole dump, we're going to get to the chart. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with my Ethereum trade because it's not looking pretty. But please watch this video till the end because it is going to be worth your while. So Japanese stocks are in complete collapse. They are now down over 10 percent and on track for the largest decline in more than 13 years. So this is what it looks like. It's, it's an absolutely incredible. This is uh, Nikkei, Japanese stock exchange, basically. And if you're going to compare the drawdowns during the pandemic in 2020, we saw a 31% decline right here, this one. And right now we just dropped 28%, dragging down everything just because, again, they're actually going into quite quantitative tightening. And every time this happened, it triggered a huge parabolic down move. So therefore, we also see Bitcoin well, actually, you know, if you're looking at the weekly, it doesn't look like anything, does it? And then, you know, that's why people who are over leveraged, they're losing. But we're going to uh, discuss this in just a second. Also, proper risk and money management. So when it comes to Bitcoin, I know it's not a pretty picture, guys. I know it is very painful to see it. And it is something that, quite frankly, we did not anticipate. Yeah, I thought that we will go down. Yeah, we could revisit lower lows. But in terms of Ethereum, 2000 down to 2000. I did not expect this. Honestly, I did not. If you did, congratulations, you've done well. Heads off, good job. But I just really did not. Now, the question then becomes, is this the end of it? And in my opinion, guys, it's not. So let me just show it to you uh, as to what is happening right now, because today is going to be incredibly important. And also, I almost forgot, yeah, this is... It's not exactly the case anymore, is it? So if you guys are trading actively and you want to get yourself a discount on trading fees, which right now is paramount, at least saving on trading fees, and you're trading with more than 100,000, then you can use my link to buy the down description this video and claim up to 30,000. Uh, you can claim up to $30,000 initial deposit bonuses, depending on how much you deposit. And also you can get up to 42% discount on trading fees if you use my link. And again, you can create a new account if you already have one. Um, using a different form of identification, such as a driver's license, and get yourself a nice discount on fees. From what I understand, Bybit will be ending this campaign very soon. So now, chill out of the way, uh, taking a look at this here, we have unprecedented amount of volume. And certainly when it comes to liquidations, it is pretty crazy. Let's see, we've had a lot, this similar amount of liquidations here uh, in literally, yeah, uh, what was it? It was March of this year. Then we had also something in April and only now also close to probably at the end of the day, probably will be close to a billion dollars worth of liquidations. And, you know, is it a coincidence that it happened Sunday night and again, uh, early Asian morning when there was nobody supporting the price, nobody like the ETFs are not active. United States is not active. Nothing is active. Is it a coincidence or was it done on purpose? I don't know. I mean, I have no proof of either of the scenarios. So now, before I come to the chart, before I actually come to the trade and show you what I'm doing with the trade, what I want to tell you is today is going to be one of the most important days. And uh, because Fed understands what is happening and they actually called an emergency meeting today regarding interest rates after Japan's stock market collapsed. And they really understand that if they do nothing now, the collapse will extend globally. So they need to print money. So right now, Fed needs to act really fast, really fast. So this is one thing that we need to watch today as to what Fed is going to do. They're going to cut rates today. Maybe it's going to save us at least somewhat. But even then, remember, when it comes to the stock market, 
it's probably not going to help short term. The dump will probably continue. Very likely it will continue just because Fed pivoting suddenly when it's too late is not going to be helpful. And again, it would have been okay if not for the Japan. Japan fucked us up. Really, nobody could have expected, I suppose, that Japan will suddenly start increasing rates like what, two weeks ago. So that was just something that came uh, as a surprise, quite frankly. But anyway, it is what it is. When it comes to, and I, there is one more thing that you really need to be watching today in order to be more informed as to the next direction of Ethereum and Bitcoin. And actually, we're gonna take a look at Ethereum in just a second. It's a more of a chaotic type of a video, but I'm just trying to make it as fast as possible. So this is one of the AIs that we're also using for trading and analysis in general. And the AI currently, the it's like a, a neural network. What it's telling us is that the bottom for Ethereum is around 1700. So we actually touched 2000 right here, but it's, it's telling us that we're gonna go lower than consolidate and then September, October, November, the pump will resume and that's when the real pumps will come because it seems like, and I'm kind of, I am inclined to agree with this because also today we're waiting for what's gonna happen in the Middle East. Is Iran gonna attack Israel and how severe it's gonna be? And so we are waiting for that as well today. So, so many things are happening this Monday. So pay attention to everything. So for one, it's Fed. Number two, it's Israel and Iran situation. And one of the most important things, and if you look at Ethereum, Wow, just, oh my God, look at it, it's, it's, it is painful. Look at the volume, wow. When was there a daily volume like this? When was that on Binance? Yeah, it was the last time it was this bad. It was during FTX collapse. Really, it is a black swan event right now. So this is our current black swan event which is quite horrific, honestly. I know it looks painful, guys, but I really want you to feel a bit better about this because yes, it's painful. If you were over leveraged, you got liquidated. So I really, I'm really, truly sorry if, that what if that's what happened to you, it is sad. But that's why you need to always exercise proper risk and money management as I have told you so many times before. For me, yes, it's painful. I've lost 7 million, which is 30, uh, close to like 35% of my entire net worth. And again, most of my money is in crypto anyway, as I told you, I'm a degen. I'm full all in. So therefore, 7 million down in uh, literally less than 30 days is painful. However, I'm using this as an opportunity. I know very well, because think about it, and I'm gonna get to the point of number two, what you need, uh, number three, what you need to be watching today. And that is BlackRock, they would not be accumulating this much. Look at how much Bitcoin has been accumulating, accumulated by BlackRock. How much already even Ethereum, almost a billion dollars. I know it's not much for BlackRock, but why would they be doing this if they know it's gonna crush to zero or to 10K per Bitcoin or whatever, something ridiculous. So yes, it's a cleansing. Yes, it is just a kick, kicking out of everyone. Everybody I know literally is like liquidated or they've lost most of the money. They're completely devastated. They're leaving crypto. Right now is one of the worst times I've ever seen in the entire crypto space, except for the previous bear market. For this bull run, this is the worst time ever. So getting out during the worst time ever doesn't make any sense. So what I really want you to pay attention to, if BlackRock, what is gonna happen today? Yes, the United States is gonna wake up to a huge gap on ETFs. So they're gonna see a 30% or 20% drop and it's not gonna be good. But what I really care about is what is gonna happen to Ether, which is the Ethereum spot ETF for BlackRock and also what's gonna happen with iBit. Because if they buy today, if they buy the dip, it's safe. Like really, it is painful, it is horrible, but it is going to be translating into the biggest opportunity we've ever fucking seen. Because if they buy this dip, it means that they know what's coming. And they know what's coming is subsequent Fed pivot, and sooner or later, the printer will come on and will pump like crazy. So we will kick out all the last people, really, even, I almost got kicked out of it. I'm gonna get to the chart in just a second. I almost got kicked out of my Ethereum chain. I almost got liquidated. So even me, who has deep pockets, you know, and I always exercise proper risk management, almost, even I almost got kicked out. So therefore, at some point, the market will reverse. Again, it will probably again look something like this. So don't be too happy yet. Again, we could pump, depending on what um, uh, BlackRock does today, if they come out and buy a lot, you know, like a lot because they're like, okay, buy the dip. Then you can know, okay, we're gonna pump sooner or later. So we need to be watching the ETF and also what is Powell gonna say? Because if ETFs come out and dump and BlackRock also dumps today, 
good luck to all of us. Really, it's gonna be either we are in the vicinity of the bottom right now, or it's gonna be probably the beginning of the real end. And then, you know, Ethereum goes to 500, uh, Bitcoin goes to 10K or something like a couple of crypto by coincidence and magic will end up being right, you know? So it will be just the end. So that's why this brings me to the chart. And uh, here is what my trade looks like. <laughs> so yeah, wow. Uh, <laughs> Not great. But again, as I said, I'm ready to risk up to a million dollars on this trade alone. So yes, it looks painful. But guys, what did I tell you? I told you I'm risking upwards of two, three, four percent on this trade. I'm not going all in like a retard with all of my money into just one trade. So therefore, I added about, so I've put in a little bit of money. So right, what it's uh, 900K now in this account. So I still can add a bit more to it. Right now, the liquidation price is 1600. If I need to bring it down to like 1200, whatever, I will deploy more capital because I'm just, I'm not giving up on this trade. I'm just not. Instead, right here, as you can see the B, I had, I fucked up the volume, so I had to uh, change it a little bit. So I sold a tiny bit, but anyway. So, but here, I today, I added 200,000 to this trade. So I'm scaling this trade. And if we drop lower down to again, 2000, 1800, et cetera, in this vicinity, I'll keep scaling it. But the reason, and don't scream at me in the comments. If you got, if you follow the same trade, and I told you we could go lower, if you degent into it with all of your money, with into one trade with a liquidation price of 2,500, you're stupid and you should not be trading because you're not trading, you're gambling. As I've said before, this trade right here, I can lose up to a million. So far, yeah, it is down like, what is it? 600,000, okay, fine. But uh, this is still like 3%. So if I lose a million, that's still 3% of my entire trading deposit. So it is no big deal for me. That's why I'm saying, and it should be the same for you. It doesn't matter if you're trading with 30, 40, 50 million, or if you're trading with 1,000. You should never risk more than one, two, three percent per trade. And I've said this a hundred times before. And just to conclude, yes, it looks painful. It is horrible. I feel horrible today. I don't feel great at all. I'm not gonna be bullshitting you. I feel horrible. Again, seven million down. But considering this, it will come to the end. The only question is how fast will it come to the end? And please, if you still have any money on the sidelines, this is, it can be the scariest time ever. It is, it feels like the scariest time ever, but it happened before many times and it creates nothing but an opportunity. And guess what? If BlackRock is in into Ethereum, into Bitcoin, they're doing it for a reason. They have a long-term outlook. Therefore, whatever crash comes, it will recover. Ethereum will hit 10K. Bitcoin will hit 100,000, 200,000, 300,000. It will, I guarantee you. And it will hit much higher prices this year. Once Fed pivots, elections, it will all come to fruition. But this black swan right now with so many things at once and market is trying to price all this shit in right now, it is what it is. So we have to deal with it. So stay strong, persevere, and we're all in this together because I'm 99% deployed in crypto. Most of it is spot. Yes, so I can hold it indefinitely. Some of it is leverage long like this on Ethereum. That's the only leverage long that I have. So but then again, trying to exercise proper risk in money management. And I will keep adding to this trade slowly if I have to, all or nothing. If this brings me down and I lose my entire net worth, it was a good try. And we will have to pivot to Forex or something. I have no idea. So anyway, guys, peace and love. Stay strong. Love you all, hard times, but we will come out on top. Exercise proper risk and money management and check out this quick tutorial as to how to trade Bitcoin with proper risk and money management and how to use proper risk management, how to calculate your trades, etc. Check it out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.